looters? Yes, sir. We're abandoning the base anyway, sir. We might as well let them have the stuff. We'd only burn it. All right, let's go. All set? Okay, no trouble. The loader drums of gas are all stacked. You want to try for the big cigar, Major? Okay, Prince. Collins, get the Jeep over there, will you? There's a twist to it, Major. You hit the top drum with the first shot, see? It's got ordinary low octane in it, and if it don't burn the first shot, you give it a minute, maybe two to leak. See? I see, I see. Those fumes, they fill up the shed. Then you cut loose with your second shot, and those fumes, they're in there, and whammy, the whole thing goes. Okay. Once at Hang Yang, wasn't it near God we blew off the whole roof of the second shot? Yeah, the whole roof. Wham! That was before you came into the outfit, Major. Uh-huh. You uh, got it, Major. The, the fumes, then the second yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, I got it, Major. That's a cigar, Major. Want to try for the whole box or a Cupid doll for the little lady? Give it the man, the Cupid doll. I'd rather see gasoline go than anything. Last year in Kunming, I okayed plans for these installations. Now I'm blowing them up. All right, back to the alert shack. We're going to blow the field. Then a little sleep, then out, huh? Out where, Major? Back to Kunming? That's right. We fly or truck back? I'm going to check with General Loomis now. Oh, I'd sure like to fly, Major. Well, you just be back at the alert shack at 1,600 hours. And be careful, the place crawling with looter. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. What do you think, Prince? You think this Baldwin knows what the score is? You think he'll make as good a demolition officer as McNeil was? Be tough for us if he don't. How close are the Japs? I mean, from here. About 40 miles. Demolitions are always the last. Skies are leap all the time. All right, sir. Hi. Bombs all in? Yes, sir. 60 of them. That ought to give us good big craters scattered all the way across the field. How long before the Japs make the field operational again? I estimate a week, sir. Message for you from Kun Ming's, the last to come in. Read it to him. Direct you attempt withdrawal westward via road. Stop. At your discretion, repeat. At your discretion, achieve maximum delaying effect on main motor supply route. Maximum use available explosives with due concern, safe to your men, at your best judgment. Signed, Hutchison for Chief of Staff. You don't have to do it. Sir? I can countermand those orders. I'm going out off the taxi strip in the morning. You have until then to make up your mind. Is blowing this field your first demolition job, Major? Yes, sir. You were with an engineering firm before the war, weren't you, Baldwin? Laurie and Moody. A bit different handling men than handling papers. Oh, I'm aware of that, sir. I asked for this assignment. Ask? Why? Well, to have a command, sir. Even for a few days, even during a retreat. You know what command is, Major? Well, so the book says... Command is power. Pure, simple, unlimited. You have until morning to make up your mind. Yes, sir. When are you set to blow the last strip? Uh, we're all set to blow the main strip right now. We were going to plan to blow the taxiway as soon as you take off. All right. You pushing off now, sir? Yep. How about you? Well, sir, I've decided to go out by truck. Uh, we'll blow this remaining strip as soon as we get off the ground. Are you sure? Yes, sir, I'm sure. You know, the Japanese come up this road and isolate our main base at Kunming, you know. Well, I, I'd, uh, I'd just like to get a crack at cutting the road, sir. Luck on the road. Thank you, sir.
Major said load up and wait. So you're waiting. So I'm waiting. That's initiative for you. Look, Prince, don't needle me. I've been out on the road with this circus since last summer, so don't needle me. Mike, you got any Adderman? I feel lousy. You look lousy. No, honest, Mike. Well, what am I, a drugstore? Look in the medical kit. Right at ease. We had a message last night from our main headquarters in Kunming. Last night? That's right. Now, what they want us to do is to stay out on the road for a few days and see what we can destroy on our way to Kui Yang. We gonna do it, Major? Headquarters said after this job, we barrel right back into Kui Yang with no stops. Ain't that right, Prince? That's what they said. I'm in command now. Suling Bu Zai Nali. Zuling Bu Zu. Zuling Bu Zu Dai Nali. Oh, Suling Bu. Yeah. Oh. Dang Zai Bu Zai. Guan Dang. Yeah. Oh, Guan Dang. Guan Dang could not be there now. He says that the uh, Chinese command post is up this road, so up there in that temple. He doesn't know if the CO's up there or not. Okay, let's go. America is China's best friend. Today is sad. Today we eat bitterness. 
But the final victory will be ours, because China and America are friends. Yes. Has Major Bowen been long in China? One year, Colonel. And I want to thank the Colonel for the tea. I'm sorry we don't have more time to enjoy his hospitality. But I have something very important to speak to the Colonel about. What is this important thing, Major? Well, Colonel, we are the American Engineers demolition team of the East China Task Force. Now, we've been ordered to delay the advance of the Japanese from Lunzhou. Now, down here in the valley, there's a small bridge. We wish to destroy that bridge. What does the Major wish me to do? Well, the, the Colonel is in command here. I can't blow up the bridge until the Colonel agrees. The Japanese will go as far as Dushan. I am Colonel Kwan. Dushan. Dushan, that's where the railroad ends, isn't it? About 120 miles from here. Yes, sir. No, it is not the railroad. At Dushan, there are ammunition dumps. The Japanese know this. They will go to Dushan and they will stop. Dushan, the dumps, to blow them up? That is all right. Yes, Dushan, that's all right. Oh, no, 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 Colonel. I'm not making myself clear here. Now, Dushan, that's way at the end of the line. We'll think of that when we get to it. Now, how about this bridge? This is what now, I'm concerned me, about. Excuse me, sir. Mr. May I speak with you just a moment? Excuse me. Come on. I think Colonel Lee's afraid of us, sir. No, afraid of what? Afraid we're going to blow everything up. What does he think I am, a tell of the Hun? Come on, come on. I'm sorry. Uh, sit over there, will you? Uh, Colonel. Colonel, the war is, is sad. The war is a better thing. Uh, America and China are friends, but the Colonel must understand. We have orders to delay the Japanese. My men are anxious to get to Kuyang. We wish only to destroy this one little bridge here in Isham. Only this one little bridge we wish to destroy. Nothing more, nothing. Only the bridge? Right. The bridge is all right to destroy. Fine. All right, now, if the Colonel... Oh, yes, just... yes. I'll put myself on your pass. Thank you, Colonel. Thank you, sir. Are you driving all the way to Guiyang now? Yes, that's right. Colonel Guan will go down to the bridge with you. Why? He will talk to my soldiers. He will show my order to them. Why? And then he will go to Guiyang with you. What? Guiyang? Now? In 10 minutes. Perhaps, Major. You like to see the courtyard while you wait. First time you've had a negotiated deal with the Chinese, sir? Yes, why? Well, sir, uh, the thing to remember is that they're running this country. Well, not that that's so bad, mind you. And I'm not making a moral judgment, but... Well, sir, that's just the way the country is, and that's the way they have to run it. And it's kind of interesting once you get to know what's going on. You like China, don't you? Yes, sir. After the war, when I go back to school, I was thinking maybe I'd take a couple of courses in Chinese history. What school is that? Columbia. Uh -huh. Majoring in government. I've only got two years to go. Who's she? Is? Colonel Lee's wife or daughter? Maybe it's just his woman. Understand this country, women and temples and TNT. Sure, fun that. Ching ching ching. Yeah, yeah. Please be seated. You must eat before you go. Oh well, I thank the colonel, but we're in a great hurry. Now, if Colonel Kwan's ready, we'd like to leave immediately. But you have not eaten today. Colonel Kwan has not eaten today. China and America are friends. It is together, friends. Eat. Yeah. Please. A little. It is not much. One cannot eat TNT. Okay. All right. All right, Colonel. Just, just a bite. Come on. to take Colonel Kwan only. 
The lady is Madame Hong. She is the wife of General Hong. General Hong was killed this summer. She has friends in Guiyang. Yeah, oh, but... Okay, Collins, come on, come on, let's go. Yes, sir. The uh, lady in back. Yes, sir. Well, he explained to her that this is going to be a pretty rugged trip. Yes, sir. Uh, Jagu Lushong, uh, Hunkada. Yeah, we sleep out of doors. We're soldiers. Well, the army has regulations about women. Uh, woman, uh, Shreitsai Lu Uh, woman, sure, uh, uh, sure, you're Ren. Ask her if she wouldn't like it if we put her on a Chinese bus. You know, we can trade some gasoline for a passenger ticket or something. Uh, Nishiwan, Bushiwan, uh, woman, Song Ni Young, uh, Gung Gung teacher. Thank you. Please don't worry about me. I know you don't want me, Major. I'll try not to be a bother. Ain't that his name with the mic in the back seat? We thought they might have picked you off, Major. Oh, we had a little trouble up headquarters getting the bridge clear from the blow. Colonel Kwan, yes, uh, tell those sentries down there to clear the road. What do you think the bridge will take, Sergeant? Oh, half a dozen charges tied to the beams. That'll do it. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's get moving. Blow the bridge. Who's the dame? How do I know? Is she the Major's private stock, or do we draw a card? Shut up. Let's get this stuff planted. Hey, Mike. Fire in the hole! Major. Fire in the hole! Oh, hold it, hold it. Oh, 
All right, I'll wait. You think they'll understand, Collins? What? You think they'll understand why I'm doing this? Blowing the bridge? Well, sir, they can come through that gorge later on. Uh-huh. Unless they're sick or old. got something to eat. The pot's full. Thank you. You can use my mess kit. You eat American food? Yes. In Shanghai, we used to eat American all the time. But I have my own bowl. Thank you. That's enough, Prince. in a while he cuts up some Chinese vegetable. That is, that is when he can get the Chinese vegetable. Was he a cook? Well, I mean, um, in America. Well, Miller? Mm -hmm. No, he was an electrician. Really? Yeah, and the others were mechanics and students, foundrymen. Prince was a racetrack boogie. And you? Well, before the war, I designed bridges. Now I blow them up. Um, Madam Hung, don't you think you'd be more comfortable if we put you on a Chinese bus? If you want to put me on a bus, do it. 
Well, I, I don't want to sound harsh, but we have two or three days' work before we get to Kuyang, and it, it, it just isn't a good military idea to have a woman with the outfit for that long. And we could put you on the bus, you could go right straight through to Kuyang. And... Have you ever been on a Chinese bus? No. After Changsha fell, my husband's officers put me on a bus going to Hengyang. We went only 10 miles. Then the driver stopped the bus and asked everyone for more money. I paid him. He threw a woman and a child off who had no money and made them walk. Well, I, I thought there were trains for officers' families. I took a train also, but it was not an officer's train. It was a, a train for refugees. They built special platforms on those refugee trains. A woman had a baby on the platform on which I was. But it was better than being on the roof. There were people on all the roofs, and they held on with their fingers. Then the train went through a tunnel, just we, before we came to Guilin. And when the train came out of it, the engineer stopped the train, and everyone went out for some air. When I looked up, there was an old man still lying on top of one of the cars. He hadn't been completely scraped off. Then I saw a student lift the old man's head up by the hair and looked at his face. Then he pushed the old man off the roof and lay down in his place. Then? Then, when I arrived in Liuzhou, I sold my watch to get food. It was an American watch. Then I found Colonel Guan. Guan was a student of my husband's at the military academy. Then he took me to Colonel Lee's regiment. Well, I don't understand this place. You don't like China, no, do I, you? No, I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand the brutality. Why? We're, we're just a different people. Anyway, you shouldn't be traveling like this, a general's wife. My husband was shot. Yes, Colonel Lee told me. He was executed. Yes. Major Baldwin? Yes. The Japanese have entered Luzhou, Major. When? This afternoon. Patrols are reported coming up the road. Excuse me. Yi jie zhu hao ma? Hao, xie yi. Well, let's see if we can get a few hours rest. We're gonna have to move fast in the morning. like the distributor, Mike. Nah, I don't think it's the distributor. Well, get the toolkit. Maybe we can find out, huh? Oh, Miller, will you get this out of here? Mike, I'm sick. I don't think it's the malaria, though. I'm hot. I'm dry and hot. My bones ache all over. I think the doctor ought to look at me. I'll tell the major. When, Mike? Oh, listen, for Pete's sake, Lewis, turn it off. Baldwin's running this outfit, not me. I'm a sergeant, not a wet nurse. Uh, sure, Mike, only the way I feel, the way everything hurts. OK, it hurts. I'll give Baldwin a memo. <coughs> Battle, get the major quick. <coughs> All China to get sick in. You got to pick my truck. <coughs>
Now what? Relax, Mike. We ain't never gonna make the first race. What's holding this up? Where's the major? Hey, Santa Claus, you finished? I like their kids, Mike. Someday one of them's gonna knife you. Well, suppose we get invaded, Mike. Illinois could look oh, like this. Save the big picture stuff. What's holding this up? Well, it's a truck up there that belongs to a gent who picked some cotton out of Quaylin or Lou Joe. Anyway, he's trying to get it up north. If he does, he'll make a small fortune, provided he gets it there. His truck conked out. All right, let's shove him off the roof. We can't. The guy's got a gun. He says you'll push his truck up the hill, or no one will go fast. Okay, Mike, come here. Come here. Now, this is a fast one. Now, listen. We're going to push this fella's truck off the road, but it's going to have to look like an accident. You understand? Well, then nod like you understood and smile. Mike, we don't want any shooting. Now, here's what we're going to do. He says that uh, his truck will go or no one will go. All right. Now, explain to him that this fellow's my mechanic, and he's going to see if he can fix the engine. Air high, no catchy. No dice, Major. All right, now tell him we're going to push his load up the hill with one of our trucks, try and get the engine started. And tell him I'll get in there and drive the truck. I'll steer the truck. Go ahead, tell him now. Oh, the to hoy. Can I send the catcher? Me. I'll get in your truck, drive, OK? All right, come on. Let's get this road clear. Come on. OK! OK! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up. Let's go, we're going to push it. Let's go, Miller. Okay. 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 What's the trouble, Miller? I think I got a flat. Ah, it's a fine place you picked to get a flat. All right, pull up around there and fix it. Major Baldwin. Major Baldwin. It's okay. It's okay. Something I didn't tell you last night. What's that? Colonel Lee has gone into the hills. Gone into the hills? But he was he was dug in. I saw the machine gun in placements. He had he had orders to hold off the Japanese. Colonel Lee is a very brave man. He was wounded twice in Shanghai. But his soldiers are from this province and they have lost hope. To Colonel Lee, it was better that they go now into the hills and wait for the next offensive. Gone into the hill. All right. How long have they been using this road, Colonel? Since the days of the emperors. Peasants built it with their hands. Machines could do it just like that. China has no machines. After the war, you'll have them. We'll give you the machines to fix up roads like this. Roads that have to be closed because Colonel Lee went into the hills. How will you close it, Major? I'll close it with TNT. Now, if I could just find a bend, just a horseshoe bend. Like that? Yeah, like that. Well, why 
aren't you and Ballo working? We got the road holes stuck, but we can't figure out how to get into those pockets up there in the rock. Mike said you were the engineer, Major. You could figure it out. Yeah, suppose we loosen something up there. We could get brained. They all that loose stuff up there, you know, Major? Anybody ever call you fella stupid? Like who, Major? Like anybody. Maybe once. On a show parley. Both horses won. All right. I'm gonna take a look up top. Get that truck up here. That's tough going in there, Major. I'll take over if you want. I got a dull bet here. See if there's another one down the kit, will you? Yes, sir. I'll get one right away. Can I get you something? Hey, get you a drink of water? How about I'll get Miller and make some coffee, huh? I want a glass of milk. Lois, we're in China. There's no milk. You know that. I want a glass of milk. Tom, come on, listen to me. Now, we're up in the mountains, and I'm going to try and break this road. You understand? If I blow this road open, we may be the ones that hold West China together. You see? I want a glass of fresh milk. Did you understand what I said? There isn't any fresh milk, and we're going to blow this road. I need a doctor and a hospital. I'm going to take it easy. I don't want to die in China. You're not dying. Now stop it. You're a soldier. Act like one. I ain't going to die to see you can get a lousy medal for blowing up a road. Here. Yeah. Come on, Lois. Huh? I'll get... I'll get Miller to open a can of condensed milk when we break to eat, huh? Okay. You okay, Lois? There you are. Well, is everything all right? Everything except Lois. I got tired sitting in the jeep, and I felt so useless. I've been sitting here and wondering how all this must look to an American. Why? I've become so used to it. I was with my husband for four years at headquarters. And now watching you, I... I wondered how all this must look to someone like you. Because in America, when the roads are crowded, it's always for fun. That's what an American road is for, but... Here, when people are on the road, it's... Well, this is a war. Yes, or a flood, or a famine. We have all the natural disasters. And I was thinking how different this road is from the road that goes from Boston to New York. Ah, uh, it's quite a road. You ever been on it? Many times. I went to school at Radcliffe. Oh, I was born and raised in Boston. Are you really going to cut this road today? Yeah. Is it dangerous? I mean, demolition? 
No, not if you know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. That's so American. Well, it's just simple efficiency. And the people? What do you mean? While the road's being cut, how will you, how will you stop the people on the road from getting in your way? Well, uh, 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 that's Quan's job. He's along to handle the Chinese. I, besides, there's just foot traffic along here now, and we'll cordon off the road, and then we'll set out some cigarettes and some food and a little sugar, and that'll hold them long enough for us to make the blow, see? You mean leave some food for them as a decoy? As if they were animals you were baiting. Well, now, what do you people want me to do? Hold back the Japanese with a couple of polite bows and a bowl of chop suey? Colonel Lee, quit. That, that glorious 212th Regiment, they're up in the hills, safe. Uh, this, this road's wide open. It's like a door, all the way from here to Kuyang. Well, somebody's got to shut it, or try to shut it. Colonel Kwan? Colonel, I'm going to blow up this road. Now, how can we keep the people off? Off? Well, I, I need them stopped for about 10 minutes. Can you do it? How? Well, how about, uh, how about if we get a couple of empty gasoline drums, put them on either side of the road, stretch a rope across? They'll go under the rope. Well, then we'll get some Chinese soldiers to explain to them, explain to them that we're cutting the road. How about that? The soldiers will want to get through themselves. Well, could we give them something? What? Well, money. They cannot spend money here. Well, food? How about food? We got K-rations, cigarettes? How about cigarettes? What will they take for the job? May you ban for... I don't speak Chinese, Colonel. There is no way. You also object to me trying to bribe your people, Colonel? Or would you rather have me blow up the road under them, like some Chinese generals? If you wish. I will try. Come on. The boat convinced them. All right, come on. They will warn the people to wait 10 minutes.
wish we had a picture, huh, Mike? A whole summer's work, and we ain't even got a picture to take home. Yeah, next war, bring your camera. <laughs> now, who's gonna put that together? <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> never. Hey, look at them, boy, a vacant steeplechase. <laughs> Listen, there I was, I was laying there, and I was sick. Sick as a dog. And my Aunt Esther comes into the room, and she says, I don't hold with these new doctors. <laughs> ah, oh boy. How are you feeling, Louis? Lousy. The milk okay? Yeah. Thanks. And now, maybe we'll be in Kuiang tomorrow. You'll be able to rest up in Kuiang. In China, before the war, every man had an exact relationship to every other person. The son to his father, the wife to her husband, the teacher to his students, the soldier to his officer, the prince to his king. It's what they call the law of reverence. Oh, Madam Hong, I want to ask you something. I bought this in a bazaar in Kunming, and... I was going to send it home. Is that, is that anything special? What is that? Anything? It is Guan Yin. Guan Yin is Mercy. She's the goddess who hears all the crying and prayers, and she's never angry, and she always forgives. Oh, I see. Well, my father always said that Mercy was better than justice. No. China is too big. There are too many of us for Mercy. What China needs is unity. First, you must have unity, and then you can have Mercy. Madam Hong. Please don't I... call me Madam Hong. My name is Sue May. Sue May. May Jay, Sue can May. I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Susie! Excuse me. Susie, front center. She's going into Kuiang, too. She says she has a brother that works for an American in Kuiang. How about giving Susie a lift, Major, when we pull out in the morning? Huh? Nothing done. Uh, Susie's not so big, and if nobody had looked, you wouldn't even notice her. The, the answer's no. She's not going to get in the way up there in the cab. The answer's still no. All right, Susie, start walking. It's a long way to Kuiang. See, baby, why weren't you born a general's wife? Excuse me. Set? Well, they're up and moving. What's the deal for today? I don't know yet. It depends on the Japs and the roads. Sure could stand a day of rest. Yeah. What about Dushan? You mean those ammunition dumps? We've blown them like Colonel Kwan wants? I'm running this outfit, not Kwan. Yes, sir. That's a Chinese job, ain't it? 
Duchamp's their cookie, ain't it, Major? Well, we'll see. Look, Major, Lewis is uh, sick, real sick. We gotta get him to a hospital soon. Lewis is a weak slob. Okay, Major. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Sorry. Forget what I said. No, it's true. Lewis is a slob. I'm a slob. You're either a big wheel or a slob. I learned that when I was a shop steward in the foundry. Oh, cut it out, Mike. You know I couldn't run this outfit without you. Well, that just makes me a helpful slob, that's all, Major. What do you want, a public apology? No, I don't want nothing. Well, suggest something. Slobs ain't got the brains. I said, cut it out. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Let's, uh, let's go over this again calmly, huh? Now, what would you suggest that I do, Sergeant? Your orders said at your discretion. So? So, we're eight guys and four trucks. Is eight guys, one of them sick, and four trucks gonna save China? Somebody's kidding somebody if they think so. What we ought to say while well, we got the chance is ourselves. Because if we don't, Major... Major? Colonel Bourne just picked up a Chinese infantryman, sir. Hey, out! 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 Okay. What outfit's he with? What's it? Anzing, Anzing. What is it? He's not with any outfit now. Oh, with how? How is it? He was ordered back. Japanese are coming. Where? He doesn't know. What I? Taising? Lojo? Japanese? Tana? Repenji? He was in Lujo. The Japanese came there. What I sing? Japanese? Tana, Benji. He went to Yishan, the Japanese came there. Yen Zai, Taha, Yao Lai, Hoshi. Now they're coming here to Hoshi. Ho Kangin, Di Ma Bina. He's seen their cavalry. How many divisions there? Ni Ji Dao Tam and Yu Ji Si. Ho Xiong, Liang Xi. He says two. Ho Tang Ben, Gong Jiang, Hong, Liang Xi. He says he heard an officer say two. Oh, Xiao Bing. He's only a soldier. Oh, Ji Dao, Tang Wu. He knows when he is hungry. Ji Dao, Sao Xiang. He knows when he is wounded. Ji Xi, Xi, Wu Dong Dai. That's the only positive information that he knows. Me Guo Yan, Zhang Jiefu. He also says Americans are lucky. Major, you better take a look at Lewis. He's boiling. He's real sick. Well, give him some cigarettes. And tell him he's lucky, too. Deserters are shot. I think he has pneumonia. Get there a doctor in this town someplace. He needs a doctor. What makes you think it's pneumonia? The fever and the way he's breathing. I saw pneumonia in hospitals in Shanghai. Have you any sulfur? Yeah, I think there's some in the medical kit there. Huh? There ought to be a doctor in Kuiyang. If we ever get to Kuiyang. All right, shut up. Shut up, Mike, come here. All right. All right, we're gonna move out of here. Are the trucks ready? Yeah, they're all gassed up. All right, now get get Lewis and Dergard's truck. See that he has plenty of water. Right. Japs. Heat and ammonia. That's a combination for you. Fellas, help out with Lewis. Yeah? Major. Are we going to take this stuff with us, sir? Sure. Why? Well, I was thinking, sir, we got enough rations on the trucks to last two or three weeks, and well, the people out there in the village are starving. I thought maybe I could pass some of this out to them. Ah, uh, Collins. Now, how many, how many bellies could this stuff feed out there? Only a few. Well, I know, sir, but... All right, all right, OK. All right. Well, here, here. Thank you, sir. Where's Collins going? Oh, he's just giving some of our rations to people in town. Collins, come back. Come back, I'm talking to you. Call him back. It's dangerous. What's dangerous about giving people food? Well, see, I mean, you were talking last night about the goddess of mercy. Well, isn't that what Collins is doing? An act of mercy? 
Oh, please, don't you understand? Leave the food here. Let them take it. <laughs> He liked the Slopies. Come on, let's get him inside. You keep the street covered. This one town I'd like to burn with pleasure. Right down to the lousy ground. Major Baldwin, I suggest we go now, and quickly. There are bandits who are hungry as the people outside, and they have guns. All right, now. I want you to put Collins in the ammo truck. And I want all of you to keep your trucks close together as we move out. And if a Chinese gets in between, just keep going. Don't stop. Mike, I want you in the Jeep with me. All right, now. Come on. Duchamp. 150 Lee. It's about 50 miles, isn't it? Yes. How many Lees is it from Collins to Duchamp? Mm. 
I'm going to have to write his family. They'll want to know how he died. What will you say? I'll tell him he was murdered by a bunch of Chinese while he was doing an act of mercy in a dirty, filthy little town in East China. They'll understand. No one will understand. They'll understand. I'll explain it to them carefully. But you can explain it to Americans. Can't I? I can try. I can send them a carton of sea rations and show them what their son died for. Now, everything is falling apart. Now, there has to be something that takes care of people. There has to be an order somewhere. And the invasion has left no order anywhere in China. They are going to die. Everybody back there in the village is going to die. If any of them live, it will be by accident. Life shouldn't be by accident. Dying should be something that you can avoid only by trickery or by being cruel. We have law, we have government, but it can't function on this road on account of the disorder. That's what happened to Carlos. Things were falling apart right here, and they fell on him. You are American, so go back to where the roads are safe. You can help us either. Don't you understand? Don't you see? If we can't help China, what am I doing here? What, what am I going to do tomorrow at Dushan? If nobody can do anything, what difference does it make whether I blow up the dumps or not? What? What? I, I, I don't know. I can't think. I, but I've got to decide. I've got to decide. I've got to believe that what I'm doing means something. But I can't. I can't think. I can't. You can leave us here on the road. Colonel Kwan and I will go on to Dushan alone. Well, Collins is dead. You... I'll need an interpreter. You better get some sleep now. Talk to him, Mike. Yeah. Well, what's the pitch, Mike? When are we getting at the Quayang? We ain't. We ain't. What do you mean we ain't? I thought the. We're Major's... going into Dushan. You volunteered for this lousy outfit, didn't you, Ballo? You don't like the army? Write a letter to your congressman. We're going into Dushan. See? You want to know why? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you the way the Major told me. He says he's paid for the next card. Gonna stay for one more round because he's already paid to look. So now he's playing poker and he's holding us for a hand. Yeah, well, what do you want me to do? Change the deck? Say something to me so I can translate. Why? The general doesn't like having a woman here. Oh. I'm Major Baldwin of the American Engineers. Here's my pass. I do all right, now tell him that we're on our way from Luzhou to Quiang. And we've heard that there are ammunition dumps here and that the Japanese are going to Dushan. Now ask him courteously what he would like us to do. Please sit down. This pass carries the seal of Wang Da Gong of Guangxi War Zone. Dushan Wang Dushan is not part of Wang Da Gong's command. Well, what's that mean? It means you have no authority to operate in this area. Fine. Tell him it was a nice meeting. Oh, please sit down. Well, 
Will you have some tea? Oh, now, let's cut the formalities. If he doesn't want our help, then he doesn't want our help. He said he would be very pleased to have the honorable American general instruct him. I'm a major. He knows it. He means he wants your views on the situation. Ah, well, you tell him he's the general. I want his views. He said he wants to ask the general to ask him. 敌人没有卡车，要步行两整天才能到独山，所以目前没有什么危险。The Japanese have no trucks, and it takes them about two days of hard march to approach Dushan, so there's no immediate danger. 重庆要我们等，美军要我们退，这是我的困难。Chongqing ordered him to wait, and the Americans want him to fall back. This is his difficulty. Yeah, well, that's a hell of a way to run a railroad. Please don't say that. The general isn't afraid. It's just that he has two sets of orders. That's how my husband died. Yes, yes, I know. You told me. He obeyed one order and disobeyed the other. Yes, all right. Now, I'm, I'm just interested in the ammunition dumps. Now, does he want me to blow the dumps, or doesn't he want me to blow the dumps? He wants to ask you, do you want to blow the dumps, or doesn't he want me to blow the dumps? Please ask the American general if he has any advice. He said, what is the honorable American general's opinion? I'm a major. Well, he, he has promoted you to his equal. Uh, okay. All right. I, it, it, it's best and it's wise to blow up the ammunition dumps before the Japanese get here. He said, the best and the best way to get here is to blow up the ammunition dumps before the Japanese get here. And now, and tell him that he is, oh, the general here, he's older than I am. He's seen more of the war than I have. So now ask the general what he'd like me to do. You're learning to speak Chinese. Just ask him. He said, the general's experience is also very rich. How do you want to do it? This American general, although he's young, but he's very wise. I agree with him to blow up the ammunition dumps. The American general is young but very wise, and he's very glad that the American general has decided to explode the dump. I didn't decide. I suggested. In his opinion, you've decided. Okay, I've decided. All right, now if the general put his seal on there, I'll assemble my men. He said, if you put his seal on there, he'll be able to assemble his men. Now, if the general put his seal on there, So long, John. Mike, come here. Now we're going to have to send Lewis on ahead to Kuiang, get him to a hospital. Well, how about letting Miller take him? He'll get him there. If he barrels right through, he can get Lewis to Kuiang tonight. He could take Collins, too. And if we blow the dumps, we can all be in Kuiang tonight. All right. How are you feeling, Lewis? All right, now, now, listen to me. You're moving out. We're going to get you to a hospital. You'll be in Kuiang tonight. Is Collins going on this truck, too? That's right. Then can I ride up front? I don't want to ride in back the dead man. You're going to ride back here with Collins. You, look, it'd, it'd be better back here. You, you'd be able to take it easy. Miller would be up front. You like Miller, don't you? Yeah, I like Miller. Major. You think I'm going to be all right? 
Lewis, you're gonna live to be an old man with 40 grandchildren and all the fresh milk you can drink. Yeah, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Sure, okay, okay, now. Miller! <laughs> You gotta be sick or dead. How do you take something like this apart? Well, it sure ain't gonna be easy. But at least when we blow it, that's the end of it, right, Major? The job's finished. That's right. Look at the size of this. This is quite a collection, ain't it, Major? You mean we're gonna blow all this now? This is the last job, huh, Major? For real? You want me to tattoo it on your butt? All right, come on now. Let's spread out, see what's in these sheds. Come on, come on, let's go. Yeah, guys, take that second. Strength the one in the middle. Battle. Come on, let's check these sheds. All right, on the double. to me, Major. We bring our main lines in from there and there. The whole thing ought to go. All right, that's why we'll set it up, Mike. Now, you put your charges in the in the sheds with the high explosives and the bombs, the artillery shells. Start way back there in the corner and work up from there. Trucks up the road, take cover. Where are you gonna fire from? I'm just as far out as that wire will put me. Now look, when you get up there and get all squared away, give me a couple of shots as a signal. I'll let her go. Got it? Got it. All right, now clear the area, everybody. All right, let's go.
cover. What do you think you're doing? You ought to be down with the trucks. This is the last job for me, too. I would like to see how it ends with you. When it goes, there will be nothing left? The artillery pieces, maybe. I told the men to destroy the mechanism. They'll all rust after the fires are gone. Rust. That's all that will be left of us, rust. We lost a campaign, not a war. It's time now. I think that was an American. What? I think I saw an American. Where? Back there on the side of the road. We just passed him. It was a body. Come on, Major. Now you stay where you are. Mike. Come on down here, Mike.
Must have been jumped, huh, Major? They wouldn't dump him. Huh, Major? Somebody must have jumped Miller. Get back! Get back or I'll blow your head off! Where's the truck, Collins? Where's Miller? Where's Lewis? Collins, where? I'll get Ballard to help me carry him. We searched the area, Major. Nothing. Not a sign. All right, we're going to turn around and try and find it back along the road. And then we're going to try and find the truck. And then we're going to look for the Chinese who did it. And what will you do then? They were my men, and I was responsible for them. Now, come on, let's go. Slid over Lewis in the truck and fired straight down into his face. Miller must have been jumped when his back was turned. When they stripped both of them, threw them down here on the rocks. What do you think, Colonel? What do you think? Did they have a chance? Either one of them, Miller, Lewis? They came a long way to fight in your war. Do you think the men that shot them gave either one of them a chance? I do not know, Major. Look, look, they traded. A dirty pair of straw sandals for a couple of pair of GI boots. Only they left the sandals. Why'd they leave the sandals? That was the, that was pretty generous of them, wasn't it? They could have taken the sandals too, couldn't they, Colonel? Yes, Major. Well, now, you're a military strategist, Colonel, educated in the academy. Who do you think shot and robbed those men and threw them down there in the rocks? I think soldiers. Whose? Nobody's. Deserters? Soldiers of no regiment who are far from home, who will die on the road because they are sick and hungry. No, 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 that's where you're wrong, Colonel. That's where you're wrong. That's not the way they're going to die. Come on, Mike. Help get this. Bow! Near guard! What are you going to do now? I told you I'm going to find the truck. They'll be where the truck is. Please, all you want is revenge. It's too late for revenge. They were my men, and this is my command. And on this road, I'm the only justice there is. All right, you coming? It's revenge. It will change nothing in me, nothing. Shut up! I don't want any more advice from any Chinese. Truck. Our truck. Yes. Fine. A 
That's Miller's truck. Whoever jumped Miller's right down there with it. What do we do, Major? All right. We'll go around the town, pull up on the far side. Right over right there. Over there. All right, now, who's got the BAR? It's in my heap. All right, now, Prince, when you get over there, set it up and cover us if we need it. Mike? Yeah. We'll go down to the end. Why take a chance, Major? We had to destroy other towns. That's right, Major, and they didn't kill Miller or Lewis. You hold your fire. <laughs> Take the convoy up above. Right. The inn is there. All right, meet me over at the end. Okay. You'll need someone who speaks Chinese. That's right. Drum ready to roll. What do you say, Major? All right. All right, tape a palm block of TNT on the drum head. Set the fuse for about 30 seconds. Come on. Yet. You'll see to that. 
We have contact with Kui Young, sir. Fine. Colonel Masterson of the American Liaison is waiting. This is Major Baldwin, base engineers. Who's this, sir? Masterson here. What's your message? What's your message? Masterson, six liaison to Baldwin, base engineers. Over. Uh, Roger, request you relay the following message to the commanding officer, base engineers, Kun Meng. Report bridge blown on the outskirts of Luzhou. Also, extensive demolition on the road 20 miles south of Ho Chi. Repeat, Ho Chi. Uh, also, destroyed ammunition dumps, Dushan. Over. Repeat about Dushan, with the dumps blown. Over. Roger, that's correct. The dumps at Dushan blown at 1,500 hours. Over. We've had an order out for 48 hours to get that job done. Do you know who did it, Baldwin? Over. We did it, sir. Good work. Roger, out. Thank you. Shall we finish this together? Finish what? The trip on the road. It was finished back at the village. Sume, please, I... Please listen to me. I... I don't know whether this is something I can explain or not, but it's about this power that was in my hands and using it because... Because, because they were Chinese. No, no. You weren't just killing, you were stepping on something. No, but I asked for this job. Now listen to me. Listen. I asked for this job, and with it came this power. And I, I don't know, I guess maybe I've always been afraid of it, afraid of having power, of using it. But then here on the road, I found out that it was easy. It was easy as long as it was between me and the Japanese and the road. But then yesterday in the village, it just reached out and possessed me. It just walked in and took over. And uh, the gasoline drums and the explosions, I had the power and I could use it. And it wasn't because they were Chinese. It wasn't because I was an American and they were Chinese. Power has no face. It has no country. What is it you want from me? I want you to understand. I understand. You're trying to say, if you live with the beasts, you become a beast. No, no. You're trying to tell me what happened at the village happens over and over again with Americans, just as it does with I'm us. I'm trying to tell you what I've learned. I'm trying to tell you what the road taught me, that being strong isn't enough, that one has to be responsible oneself for the power that falls into your hands. And I know, I, I know now that I had more power than I knew how to use. Doesn't matter now. Sume, please, I don't want to lose you. We've already lost each other. to Kuiang with us? No. Colonel Guan and I will go on alone. Well, I reported into Kunming, and they think we did a good job. I want to thank you. Okay, let's... let's... Well, Major, you think you could get us a slug of leave when we hit Kui Yang? I mean, now the job's over. Well, that's a real good idea, Mike. We'll get some leave. Ain't she coming? No. To the end of the road. Peace and safety. <laughs> 